Hello everyone, this is Zook and today I'm going to be talking to you about the golden ratio or the golden section or various other golden goodies. Basically the golden ratio is something that's highly acclaimed by a lot of uh, artists, architects, mathematicians, musicians, etc. Um, they claim it's being used a lot in these areas, but it's it's also referred to as divine proportions. What it basically is, is a relation between two lengths or areas of a certain geometric shape with each other and the total uh, length or area of the uh, overall shape. Now, if you didn't understand anything about that, let's, I guess I should <laughs> somewhat illustrate it. So let's say you have a length called, this is A. Now, A is 1.61 times the length of B, which would be this one. So this is a, these two lines are in a golden ratio with each other. Obviously, this is much shorter because I don't know the actual length, but this is it. So this is A and this is B. So A equals B times 1.61. Now, this ratio is, is encountered a lot in nature. It's been used extensively by uh, artists across the centuries. I mean, people have known about it for thousands of years. Um, Leonardo da Vinci used it a lot in his works. Uh, the Vitruvian Man is based around that ratio. Uh, apparently, the Parthenon is built around that ratio, even though some people dispute it, but they're just whiners. Um, basically, what it is is... People, these people, these particular people, say that it's the perfect ratio. It's the most aesthetically pleasing proportion just because it's encountered so much in nature. And that, like, uh, for example, the Nautilus shell is said to, to be um, following the certain proportions in, in terms of the spiral in the, in the shell shape, uh, which is built around... Um, rectangles that are in divine or golden proportion to each other. So this ratio is also used a lot in books, uh, page layouts, web design, mostly web design. Nowadays, a lot of people use the golden ratio in web design. Uh, certain electronics are built. Industrial designers use it. Uh, the 1610 monitor is, you know, divide 16 by 10 and you'll get the, uh, the golden ratio. Um, a lot of applications for it, and there's a lot of uh, discussions about it being used in music as well, like the total length of the play is divided according to the golden ratio so that the uh, the most intense section comes at um, two-thirds of the way into the play, and then the denouement is towards the end. So it is encountered and it is encouraged simply because of its aesthetic or supposed, uh, supposed aesthetic value. Uh, the human body also follows, or is said at least to follow, a lot of these proportions. I measured my, my arm and my leg, and they do seem pretty damn close, around 1.60 or 1.61 uh, in relation to each other, the, leg, the, the length of the leg to the length of the arm. Obviously, this depends a lot on the individual and how proportionate they really are, because you know, some people have longer legs or shorter legs, so those aren't going to be in... Uh, in the same proportions, but this proportion is the ideal. Uh, it's it's the manif manifestation of beauty. Apparently, the human face is also um, fo also follows this certain uh, ratio as well. A lot of times, and it's said that people that people's faces that do follow this ratio uh, are generally seen as more attractive as faces that don't. So it's interesting. But in any case, I know for a fact that it's being used in design a lot. And since this is what I do, and I do follow it sometimes, I'm going to show you guys how to apply it to certain areas that you might, you know, find find it useful to apply it to. For example, let's say you got a paper to write. So you want to divide the paper in such a way that it's going to uh, follow the golden ratio so you can impress your teacher and get an A or some shit. So this is how you do it. No, basically, this is Illustrator, by the way, what I'm working on, because so, it's, it's just simple to divide shit. So let's say you got uh, one one page uh, paper to write. I'll use letter for Americans. So 
you got this blank page, right? What you do is you div you duplicate the page. Let's do this quick. Kind of got to do this so you can get the shapes right. And <clears throat> you got to find the ideal position for the text. A lot of medieval manuscripts use the golden ratio for the text layout in according to in accordance to the edges of the page. And, uh, you know, they're pretty good looking manuscripts. A lot of books use these shapes as well. And the golden ratio for a text layout. So what you got to do is this. Draw a line from this corner to this corner and down here. Now draw another line. Oh, fucking hell. From each exterior corner. These pages have to be right next to each other, by the way. Just like that. Obviously not filled with white because that's not what I want. There you go. Now, the next step is from this intersection right here, draw a line, a perpendicular line to the top edge. And from the intersection with the top edge, draw a line to this intersection right here. Now the way to get your text to follow the golden ratio from this intersection right here, I'm not sure if the camera is going to pick the mouse up, basically draw a rectangle whose left corner intersects this diagonal and whose uh, bottom left corner intersects this diagonal. And that's it. Now you got, and of course you can duplicate it on the other page as well. The same effect. You just got to duplicate the rectangle and make sure the corners align with these particular lines. And that's it. Now you can erase the guidelines and you got the exact same layout used by uh, medieval manuscripts that are um, or at least claim to have used this proportion in in a lot of uh, applications. So the way all the text goes in the box, by the way, of course, this is a left page and this is the right a right page. So if you have only one page, you're going to use the the right page and it's going to look like this. Yeah. It's not a lot of room for text. And if your teacher asks you, like, why the fuck did you do this? Just tell her that you use the divine ratio in making this interesting paper on scrolls or whatever the topic is. And um, you're basically going to look like the smartest kid in class by default. Now, the way this page is in uh, the golden ratio is this top border here is double the width of the bottom border or, or half the width of the bottom border. So I'm going to duplicate these. There you go. And on top of that, the left border is half the width of the right border with approximation, because usually the golden, uh, the golden ratio layout is used on a golden ratio rectangle. So it's going to have a different uh, length to width proportion than, um, two letter pages put next to each other. So there's going to be a little bit of extra space left here, but it doesn't matter. It's, uh, you can ignore that. So this is a golden layout, a golden, lay golden layout, a golden uh, ratio page layout. Um, if you think there's too much room on the sides, which, you know, it can happen, you can just use a golden rectangle to, to put your text in. So the way you, you get that is, <clears throat> You make a square. Let's just build this from scratch. You can do this by hand, by the way. I'm just using Illustrator because it's it's the easiest. So you build this by hand, and now you need another square, which is 0 0.60, um, the, the width and the height of this one. So the way to get that is just to duplicate it, I guess, or you can use a calculator. So you got the width here, and you multiply that by... 0 0.61. Ah, for fuck's sake. Which was the multiplicate? I think it was the asterisk. Times 0 0.61. And that's it. Now you have a golden ratio uh, rectangle. And if you just want to verify, 6.5.
6.5 times 161 equals 10.465, 10 point whatever. This isn't really the same shit because I didn't use the proper amount of decimal. So 6.5738 times 0, no, sorry, 1.61. 10.583818. Ah, eh, 77666, whatever, doesn't matter. Basically, this is it. So, of course, you gotta um, combine these two shapes, turn it around, center it on the page, increase the scale. And now you have a golden ratio rectangle in which you to put your text in. If you want to be really cool about it, <clears throat> let's see how 24.28. Let's be accurate now. Let's say you got a um, divided by 1.61, 16944. Sixteen nine point four. Let's see. Let's see. You got a a paragraph break or something like that. If you're starting a new paragraph, you can start it at the beginning of the golden section and really blow their heads off. But of course, this is a bit overkill. But anyway. Let's talk about, uh, let's see, if you have a segment whose length you don't know that you want to uh, split into a, a golden uh, ratio, for example. So I'm going to pretend I don't know the length of this line. And this is on a piece of paper, right? So you, you don't have any like measuring tools or anything. So you grab a string and you divide the... Um, uh, this shape in two. So I'm just going to drag a guideline here and pretend that, yeah, you know, I don't know the length of this. So grab a string, measure the entire length, and then half the length of the string, and you can draw another line. No, I don't want to do this. Draw another line that is exactly half of the width of the total line. Put it on top here. Ooh, drawing commission. I like that. Uh, create a, a triangle, and then just unite these two lines and you can grab a compass with the radius of the top and bottom points on the perpendicular line or you can just do it by hand or tie a string to a you know pencil whatever whatever is easier for you so it needs to be larger This is, uh, I'm sure this is really exciting for everyone, but it's important and it's interesting for me at least. So now you got the intersection point right here. I'm just going to draw my guideline right here. Yeah. And you can take another circle with the radius of from t the tip here to the um, intersection that you got a little while ago. This needs to be accurate. Let's see. All right, that's about right. And basically from this intersection all the way down, this is the half, um, halfway. So from this intersection with the the bottom edge, you can Oh, what the fuck did I just do? You can draw a line that's perpendicular and you have your golden section. Let's see. Or at least I think you do. You should. Yeah, this should be accurate. So this length should be Let's see. With 10.03. So this one should be 6. 
There you go. That's pretty good. That's how you get a golden section on a on a segment whose length you're you're not familiar with. The easiest way to go about it would probably be to just um, to just use a calculator because there's plenty of them on the internet for web designers and shit. So you just put in your length, like let's say you know, 960, which is the popular uh, width, and then you got your page to vision according to the according to the golden ratio. So. You don't need to use all this fancy stuff, but uh, if you want to, you know, get into a habit, you'll eventually learn the numbers anyway, like, it's no problem. So this is the, a little bit of info about the golden ratio and how to get it in uh, your daily applications. A lot of brochures that you see use the page division according to the golden ratio to get their uh, designs simply because it's, again, it's something that is just commonly used for the aesthetic principle. Now you can't really divide a letter page or an A4 page into a gold, a perfect golden rectangle because the width is too long. So the way to divide like a, you know, a piece of paper or draw it from scratch would be to make a perfect square first and then find the center of one of the edges like here for example. Let's say this needs a black border so we can see better. And then if this was by hand, you would take a uh, compass, use the um, the halfway through point of the edge as a, a base, and then the radius would be from this point to a corner of the um, square. And then the arch that would be drawn would be somewhere around here, but you know, in a in a computer application, you can just take this um, line and use it and duplicate it and put it down here, Extend basically extending the base of the square all the way to um, where the line ends, so here. And this would be a golden rectangle in relation to the square. But again, this can't happen because the page width is too big. So if you were to scale these down, all of this on the right would have to disappear for this to be a perfect golden rectangle. But of course, you can just divide one edge and you get the same sort of principle. So <clears throat> what is a letter size? I don't remember. Let's see. Height, 27.94. So I'm just going to use the calculator. 27.94. Or let's say 28, because this is easier. 28. So that would have to be 11 centimeters. Where is my... Yeah. Let's see, 11. So that would be it. Usually, as you've seen in brochures, like there's a, a pretty picture here, and there's some text on the bottom, or the other way around, like some school manuals have the same thing, like there's all the, the titles and the shit up here and the picture on the bottom, and then they have other info, etc., etc. So it is used, and you'll encounter it a lot if you just, you know, look for it. It's, it's going to be there in a lot of situations. So anyway, I hope you found this interesting and uh, somewhat relevant to the whole shebang. And um, there's a lot to be said about the golden ratio. Like there's a lot of books about it, and people either swearing by it and others disputing it the fact that the matter is it's there it exists and it's been encountered and it's it's been used in a lot a lot of situations so there's a reason for it and i, I as a, a designer or whatever uh will keep using it because it's it makes a lot of sense in a lot of ways so thanks for watching and i'll see you for my next video Bye bye